Hey everyone, it's the Minimalist Natural and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I use the interlocking technique to keep my micro locks uniform. Over here in this corner of YouTube, we like to keep it short and sweet by doing the most with the least. So if you catch my vibe, join the tribe and subscribe to this channel. Let's get into it. So some of my locks are more mature than others. I am currently almost eight months locked and I'm gonna be demonstrating on this one because it has quite a bit of frizz and I just wanna tame that a little bit. So this lock is already pretty uniform, as you can see, but I wanna take care of the frizz that is coming out and I want it to have a nice smooth shape. This can eventually turn into bunching and I don't want that. I had a bit of audio issues, so I'm now doing a voiceover. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is wrap these loose hairs around um, the lock to kind of contain that frizz. And then I'm going to slide my thumb underneath the lock and then pull back with my top three fingers like so. Do that again. Slide under with the thumb and then pull back with the fingers. Now I'm holding it right here because I don't want to actually retwist my lock at the root. Holding it keeps the lock from moving while I force the frizz to go around the lock, if that makes any sense. And I do try to be fairly gentle when I'm doing this process. I have seen some locksmithing that really like gets in there, you know. But these are micro locks so they're already really thin and I want to make sure I don't cause too much tension and here we are with the completed lock and I'm going to show you on another one. So this is actually my mother-in-law's locks. I did not start them but I do maintain them. She had a situation where her previous loctician went AWOL and so when she got to me, her hair was bunching, there was a lot of frizz, there was tons of new growth, and this is the method I used to get her locks looking, um, looking right. <laughs> Neither of our locks were started with the interlocking method. Um, I started mine with twists and I believe hers were started with twists as well. And I find that twists tend to swell up, to get more frizz, and what people like to call fat ends. That's where the ends are not the same circumference as the roots where it's interlocked. And so this has really helped me um, get those two areas looking similar and having the same shape and width. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.